today on Florida Sport Fishing. Nothing wrong with that one. Got another one coming here. He's got to the bottom. These things are hungry, hungry. They do have some beautiful colors on them though. CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another really? one on. <laughs> Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Fortress, the world's best anchor. Stronger, faster, lighter. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. And Stingray Tackle, shop where the pros shop. Shop at stingraytackle.com. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We're out here doing a little bit of manual deep dropping for tile fish. We did an episode last season and we had some unbelievable comments and feedback and guys wanted to know more, you know, where you're fishing, how you're rigging. So we came out to do it again. We just got set up, Carlos is hooked up already. You know, we're at about 450 feet of water here off of Boca. And just slowly lift, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See, see that rod tip, see him right there? Oh, no, I came off. Still got him? I think so. Yeah. Hey, he's just swimming up with it. There's some nice ones down here. Winter time like this, then bigger fish come up here on these flats, on these mud flats. Why is that? Why is it only in the you winter? You know, I wish I knew the answer to that. I know they spawn from May through October is when they're spawning. So they're not up here spawning, but then bigger ones are definitely here mixed in with, there's one right there, see? Look at that, just you won't even come up off the bottom right there. There you Look go, double yep. up. I tell you, even though it's so deep, 450 feet, the sensitivity with these outfits is incredible. We're fishing eight foot chaos composite rods. They're graphite and fiberglass, but that graphite really gives you that sensitivity in combination with the 20 pound diamond braid, which is really the most important part of the whole equation. It's allowing us to fish in 450 feet with as little weight as possible. We're getting away with about 12 ounces right now. Another key factor is a high speed reel. You know, when you've got so much line to reel up, 450 feet, you want something that uh, has some cranking power, but also some speed. These Daiwa Saltiste 50s are like 6.4 to one. So it's a perfect combination. What do you got, dude? Double header? Double header, man. Nice, nice. Nothing huge, but a good way to start. So. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. Catching two at a time. I'll tell you what, when you get on top of them, they're thick. How about we have a little fish off, pal? Bring it. All right, maybe we'll go a little uh, quantity, quality. You know, a they'll little, be a decisive. Boat? Yeah, a little boat. They'll be a decisive winner at the end of the day. Yeah. And we'll say the loser scrubs the boat. How about that? I'm game. So I hope I'm you're- I'm uh, game. Hope your shoulder's in good shape, your scrubbing arm. I got big, broad shoulders, I'm good. All right, baby, bring it. So what do you got, two? Yeah. One little dinky. Oh, there oh. goes that one. There he goes. <laughs> oh, this one's digging. You know, you just keep uh, kind of getting them little ones out of the way for me. We'll see what you got. I thought I had a big one. I had two of them, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> well, I got a double header, too. Ha! There man, you they go. are thick down there, dude. They are thick. Those are good ones. You got some decent ones, man. <laughs> you just focus on fishing, pal. That's what I'm telling you. I'm gonna, I'm dude, those, to... are, those aren't bad. That's what I told you. I saw them coming Two like up. that is not bad. No. <laughs> right there. Within the first hour, we've okay. already got a couple fish. That's crazy. And I got cleaned on my other bait. These, like I said, these two to four pounders are about what these blue line tiles average and then bigger ones from four to eight pounds is really what we're after. This one's a little bit bigger. Yep. The VMC circle hook right in the corner of the mouth every time. 
The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Want more power and increased towing capacity? California Customs goes beyond the hitch. Let us transform your truck into the ultimate tow vehicle. Two and four wheel drive, California Customs does it all. Towing accessories and load control systems, lift and leveling kits, custom wheels and tires, performance upgrades, toolboxes and bed covers, plus all of your audio, lighting and security needs. California Customs, let us make your vehicle what you really wanted all along. Underwater fish light adds a beautiful glow to your water line while attracting fish for both viewing and sporting pleasure. You will be amazed by the amount of life in the waterways behind your home. And if you don't live on the water, Underwater Fish Light has a portable system that's perfect for night fishing and exploring from your boat. See for yourself what lies just below the surface with Underwater Fish Light. Fish guarantee. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another one on. With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. Yes, sir. Fatty, baby, fatty. There's, there's nothing wrong with that one. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's a nice one, dude. It is. The difference okay. between these grays and the goldens, you know, the goldens get larger. They'll reach 30, 40 pounds, and they've got those golden dots all over the spots, them. Spots, yeah. The spots, yep. Yeah. These grays, though, you know, you can see they don't have any of those spots, but they do have that beautiful coloration and that gold on the tip of the fin right there. But just a gorgeous fish. That's a nice, mature adult right there. That's a, that's a good one. That's definitely what we were after. Fill a cooler with those. There are no state regulations for gray tiles, but they are managed by the South Atlantic Fisheries Management Council, and they fall into that grouper aggregate. So when you're fishing federal waters, you're only allowed to keep three. Each angler can only keep three of these blue line tiles when you're out in federal waters more than three miles off the beach. Right. You know, coincidentally here, we're fortunate we've got this deep water so close to the coast, we're still in state waters. Right. So there's that, there's that gray area there, but you know, you catch three of these for each person and you've got plenty of fresh fish and plenty of fillets and I don't think you need more than that. Oh, that's so, a healthy fillet yeah, right that there. That one's beautiful yeah. right there, it really is. Yeah. You know what's cool is that mouth. They've got those rubbery lips and that mouth just goes you know, it's almost like a little vacuum just goes Lots and just teeth, sucks man. in. Thing's got some teeth. Now they do have some little teeth oh, yeah. in there, some razor sharp little teeth, and they use that to grab squid and fish. And you can see those teeth are kind of pointed back in. Like a it, hook. Like a hook, exactly. Yeah. So whatever yeah. they grab has no chance of escape, that's for sure. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. I wanted to spend a minute and talk to you in detail about the tackle that we're fishing today. We're doing some manual deep dropping for gray tile fish. We're outside of Boca, but remember these fish are all up and down the entire east coast of Florida and well into the Gulf of Mexico as well. We're manual fishing with some conventional outfits. We've got a Chaos 8-foot composite rod, fiberglass, and graphite. And that graphite is really important. That sensitivity factor, it allows us to feel those bites so far below the surface. The rod is matched to a Daiwa Saltiste 50, a high-speed reel. Really important. It's allowing Carlos and I to gain a lot of line on that reel every time we turn that handle. And that's important when you've got to bring up a rig or bring up a fish from 450 feet below the surface. 
The most important part of the equation is the line itself. We've got our reels loaded with diamond braid and 20 pound test. It's super, super thin, but it's also super strong and it'll have plenty of backbone and plenty of power to haul up anything that you're gonna hook out here in this depth of water. Um, but again, because it's so thin, it's allowing us to fish as little lead as possible and that's really important. Right now, we've got about two knots of current. We're getting away with 12 ounces of lead. The last thing you wanna do is have to overdo it and literally just wear yourself out with 16 or 24 ounces if you don't need to. So that diamond braid and the 20 pound is a perfect combination. It's allowing us to really just have a, a proper vertical presentation while keeping that rig right on the bottom. And that's what's important. Remember, these tile fish are not gonna come more than a couple of feet off the bottom to grab a bait. So you don't want your line all scoped out. You wanna have that rig right off the bottom, straight up and down. The terminal rig itself is really simple and really stealthy. Four feet of 80 pound diamond presentation. We've tied in three little dropper loops and we've got 5.0 VMC sure set circle hooks. They're perfect, they're strong, but they're thin wire, a thin wire gauge. And that allows that hook to penetrate the corner of that fish's mouth really easily. The final part of the whole equation is a little light that we attach to our snap swivel. We've got a little LP Duraloom, just a little strobe. And what that does is it helps the fish key in on the bait. Remember, it's pretty much pitch black down there, 450 feet below the surface. So they sniff out those squid that we're using for bait. They see that light, they come racing in, they grab that bait and you're hooked up every time. We're just gonna show you here real quick. I'm gonna re-rig the baits on the rod. Just grabbing three full squids, nothing fancy. Keeping it simple. Put a whole one on. You wanna hook them in the back part of the mantle there. Give them the combo package there. On the bottom, bottom one. Put another one in the middle here. And one up top. This is just a little dropper loop rig. We made up 80 pound test. Probably about three or four feet long. And a little loop on the bottom with 12 ounces of lead. And occasionally, like, see, this is why you gotta check your tackle. I just brought those three fish up and the snap that we're using opened up. So you gotta make sure you check your snaps. They do have a tendency to, to do that, especially when you're using heavier lead. Sometimes they bend open, so. That's it, now we're back in business. Ready to go catch another one. Let's see what's up. The Mercury Verado, outstanding corrosion protection, proven reliability. Yeah. And it comes with all this. Meet Tom from Customer Support. Whoa, he's a hugger. Huh? Not really into that, Tom, thank you. This is Nick from Field Testing, runs these babies thousands of hours. They're solid. Nick? This is Cheryl, and Bobby, our prop engineer. He turns horsepower into performance. Oh, and the rest of the gang's here. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. Tom, the hugger. Introducing Sea Deck, a shock absorbent, non skid material manufactured from UV protected foam specifically formulated for marine applications. Sea Deck's comfortable and durable surface protects your deck, reduces noise, and improves the look and value of any boat. Available in a range of colors, Sea Deck is fully customizable and easy to apply with a marine grade peel and stick adhesive. Visit SeaDeck.com for a complete line of retail products. Surprisingly affordable, incredibly versatile. Tired of empty coolers? Book an overnight trip aboard the 100-foot Yankee Captains to the world-famous Dry Tortugas and catch trophy snapper, grouper, king mackerel, and more. Fishing these rich waters for 25 years, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or relax on the spacious upper deck. With full galley and huge fish boxes, the only thing you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West, Florida, year-round. So, you're looking for a place to go on vacation, where the water is warm and the nights are hot. A place to remember, a place to get lost, or blend in with the crowd. A place that defines your individuality. A place to test your skill at something new. A place that feels like home away from home. Visit Jacksonville, Florida. Nice one, huh? Yeah, that's a good one. It's got a little weight to him. Awesome. He didn't want it to come off the bottom. He just, you know, kept digging and digging. 
Do it. You see him like, like a grouper. That? Yeah, yeah, like a grouper. Yeah. Anybody can do this, you know. You just need the right tackle. You need the right tackle, the right mindset. But it's not like X marks the spot. These fish are up and down the entire coast. You're getting close. No. Yeah, you I only wish. have about 250 feet to go. Oh, thanks. The key, remember, the bait, squid, the bottom, mud, the depth, four to 600 feet. 20 pound braid. 20 pound braid. <laughs> you certainly can get away with 30, 40, 50 pound braid will do the job. But we've really scaled it down to as thin as possible, which as I mentioned earlier, allows us to fish that really light weight. 12 ounces we're getting away with and we've got some drift here, you know, we're cruising at about two knots. Well, especially today, we had that weird current change, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. I don't see him yet. Dude, I'm still down there. Are you kidding me? You don't want to come can I, up. Can I get you some water or yeah, something? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a water, a little micro, sure. There he is. That is one nice fish. That's what that is. There he is. Yep, nice fatty. I'll yep, give you a hand here. That's a good one. Nice. Right there, baby. Nothing nice wrong fat with that one. one. Woo! Yep. Nice fat that's one. That's a good one, dude. Nothing wrong with that. Dude, that's, that's as big as this size gets. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Loving the tiles. Nice and cold. You know, remember that bottom. You feel them? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's you freezing. Know, 450 it's feet freezing. down, that bottom's 50 degrees. Oh, you're not going anywhere. You can almost anywhere. put your face on it cool down, yep. you know, from the sun. You really can. <laughs> I love that top fin. Yeah. You know, the way that giant large dorsal all the way across the that top. Stripe inch. The big anal fin, the pretty tail. I think that's one of the best things about these fish is just how pretty they are and of course how good they taste. You know, you mentioned it before, these tile fish are called poor man's lobster. Mm -hmm. And for a reason, the meat, the flesh really does taste like lobster. It really does, especially when you prepare it really delicately. You can't overcook these fish. These fillets cook so fast. A Little bit of butter, a little bit of Florida sport fishing, mm -hmm. seafood seasoning the right up rod. on top. Mm -hmm. Right in a saute pan, I kid you not. Two minutes, two minutes on one side in a hot pan, flip it over, two minutes on the other Done. side, boom. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. Good job, dude. Awesome. Catch another one. Yes, sir. I got him. Oh, you got him. Got You're him. tight, dude. I got him. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Too, that's buddy. a good one, dude. Yeah. Just got down there. You don't feel me, my line though, right? No, but I feel a fish just absolutely annihilating <laughs> me, dude, right away. Tile fishing does not get any better than this. Nope, right here. Right away, I mean, second. You get to the bottom, you do it right, and you're tight. If this is one and not two, this is definitely the biggest one I've caught today so far. Don't be jumping the gun yet. No, I'm just telling you, dude. Don't be jumping the gun. There he is, I see yours. Yep. It looks like oh, a decent that's a one nice too, one, dude. dude. Yep. Yeah. It's a decent one for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. That's not tiny. He's all right. We found the mother load. That's not bad. It's a good size one. I think we're gonna throw him back though. We'll throw him back. <laughs> we'll throw him right into the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Come the papa, baby. They're hitting good, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, as soon as it hits the bottom, boom. This has boom, to boom. be, I gotta be doubled up right here. The way it's going? Yeah. There's color. Two. Two? Yep. Three. Oh, got really? A triple, dude. Triple, <laughs> tripled I got a up? Triple. No wonder it was pulling. Oh. One of them just came off? No, no, no. All three still are got still him? there, dude. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't get that's why. any better. <laughs> no, that's pretty good. And that right there. That is pretty good fishing. Yeah. No matter where you are. No matter where you are. Three hooks, three fish. For. Exactly. I mean. <laughs> Let's get these up. <laughs> They're not, not babies, there, babies no, either. No, They're good these ones. Are decent ones. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Count them. Hey. Stringer. <laughs> I'm gonna get these unhooked, get a couple of these big ones in the cooler, get that little one out of here. Stick around, check out our pros tip. We'll be right back. <laughs> nice, dude. Pros tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. 
Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Pro's Tip. I wanna spend a minute and talk to you about being properly prepared prior to leaving the dock to make sure you're able to take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way. Regardless if we're fishing for snapper, sailfish, swordfish, or deep dropping, there's a combination of four spinning rods that are always rigged and ready aboard our CV. First is a bait rod, just a light action rod rigged with a sabiki rig. I can't tell you how many times a school of blue run or pilchard or herring will come around the boat, being able to catch that live bait on scene and getting it back out there as quickly as possible will often keep you connected when nothing else will. Next, a long spinning rod. I like an eight foot rod. This way I can achieve a great distance when I'm casting. If I see a floating piece of debris, a well-formed weed line, maybe a dolphin or a cobia cruising along the surface, I can throw out this Rapala X wrap, rip it just under the surface and catch that fish that I would have otherwise missed. The key is making sure that it's rigged and right at arm's reach at all times. Next is a vertical jigging rod. I'm constantly keeping one eye on the sounder. If we troll or drift over a wreck or maybe we're drifting and I see a pocket of blackfin tuna deep in the water column. I can grab that vertical jigging rod, get that jig deep below the surface, work it back up and often catch those fish that again I would have otherwise missed. And finally, a seven foot spinner with a live bait hook. How many times have you hooked a dolphin, brought them up next to the boat, and another one or a pack of fish swim up with it? If you're fumbling around, you're gonna miss that opportunity. Having this live bait rod ready to go, I can put on a chunk or a live bait, get it back out as quickly as possible, and turn one bite into multiple bites. I'll tell you, these rods aren't gonna save the day every day, but by having them rigged and ready at all times, I'm gonna be able to take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way. Are you ready to get hooked up? Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Hoorag. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Chuck Rollins here, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Bubble Blade 9 inch tapered flex. The reason I think this is the perfect blade for these smaller fish like your panfish, your, your white bass, your crappie, is that it's got a lot of flex, you still got that perfect handle, it's got the nice thumb piece, it's got the little trigger right here, so when your hands are wet, you don't have to worry about that blade sliding out of your hand. It is super sharp right out of the box, and that's why I think this is the ideal blade. Florida Sport Fishing has been proudly presented by Fishity, the maps to plan, the tools to catch, the option to brag. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rugged Shark, technical footwear designed for angling and boating enthusiasts. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Salt Life, ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. What we've been doing here today is these fish are held up on just this one little stretch. It's only about a half a mile, three quarters of a mile long, and I'm using my Furuno nav net. And as you can see here, we literally have done a couple of dozen drifts right over this same little stretch right here. And every time we catch a fish, you know, we could either mark that depth and just move a little bit further inshore or offshore. I'm trying some little areas but these fish are just really concentrated and held up between about 430 and about 450, right in that little avenue right there. And as you can see, I mean, we've done, gosh, a lot of trips over this one little area, but it has certainly paid off. And you know, I think the moral here is you've got to use your electronics, you know, use the equipment to its fullest capabilities, your sounder, your chart plotter, use it all together and you'll stay tight. Told you they're still chewing. 
You just gotta get down there. You just gotta work it. Oh, I was down there. <laughs> you got him. Way to go. Let's see if I can get another one too. You know, I keep wanting to go home, but. <laughs> what is that? Never leave biting fish? That's right. Never leave biting fish. Now, we had our little fish off. I gotta say, it's probably a pretty tie score. No. What? No. What? No. You really think you got me? Oh, yes. Oh, oh that's right. You <laughs> caught a couple slobs while I was busy helping the camera crew. That's right. All right. Well, yeah. I don't know if that counts. That time yeah. frame should not count. I wasn't oh, it actually should, though, fishing. Because it was, yeah, no, no, no. I was working with the, with the camera crew. Oh, now you're making excuses. I'm not making excuses. Okay. I'm just saying that, you know, if okay. you're going to play a game fairly, it's no, got to be it's fair. It's all right. You know what? Whatever. Or whatever. I mean, whatever. whatever. If you want to, you know, claim yeah. the title by using those sorts I, you of know tactics. What? Go right ahead, man. I'm just fishing, man. Okay. Okay. Nah. All right, whatever. All right. That's the way you want to be. I tell you what, Carlos, we've had a great time tile fishing. Yeah, man. I got sore arms and a sore back. Yep. Well, hopefully, you picked up some tricks, tips, caught on to the techniques that we use when we're manual deep dropping. You too can do this, man. Just get yourself the appropriate gear, some sensitive equipment some 20 pound diamond braid, a high speed reel, sensitive chaos rod, get yourself on some muddy bottom and come out here and connect. Remember, you could always catch up with past seasons and a ton of really cool videos on our YouTube channel at any time, 24 seven, 365. In the meantime, I'm gonna get this fish up and I think we're gonna call it a day. We'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.